Hey everybody, I just wanted to jump on really fast and do a short little video because I've had several questions about the assignments uh, for this week. So let's just review really quickly what it is that we're doing. So the first thing that you should be doing after you did your outlining activity, the next step is to start building your outline for your expository speech. Now an expository speech is an informative speech and I'm going to open up um, two little documents here. This is a skeleton outline with the description of what you're supposed to put in. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is choose a topic. And I realize that maybe we didn't talk very much about this, but you can choose a topic um, pretty much on anything. If we go to the assignment sheet, let me go to the expository rubric. Let's see if it's there. Um, students are going to present an effective expository speech teaching the class about a skill, process, theory, or idea. So I'm going to close that because I know that that's not totally up to date because I did it in, in unit two. But you guys are going to write a speech about a topic that you can teach us about something. So you're going to write and present an effective speech teaching the class about a skill, a process, a theory, an idea. You can even do your speech about a famous person if you wanted to um, talk about a famous author or musician. The key here is that I don't want it to just sound like you're reading off a Wikipedia page. It shouldn't just be a list of chronological events. It should be dynamic. It should be exciting. You should be teaching us about something that is exciting to you. So when you're choosing your topic, I really want you to think about like, how can I make this really exciting? So maybe you can teach us about the history of coffee because I'm drinking my coffee this morning. Or the basics of candle making. Whatever your topic is, you're gonna start with this basic skeleton outline. Your outline has three main parts, an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. And then there are elements that you put into each of those places. So let's look at a complete outline now. Here is a sample outline. So this um, speech is all about fishing. Let me keep this nice and full, just for my own visual thing. So the topic of this person's speech is fishing. Okay, so they wanted to do their um, speech on fishing. And the very first thing that they say is they're attaching it, or how many of you have never been fishing before? And then the preview is going to be your main ideas. Today I'm going to talk about the history of fishing, the equipment you need, and how to fish. And then your thesis is what do you want the audience to really do with this information? I hope that you learn to appreciate this recreational activity. I hope you learn a new skill, maybe it's a new hobby, something like that. So then you're going to take your main ideas and in the same order that you've listed them here in your preview, you're going to create body paragraphs. So the first one is the history of fishing. And this outline is pretty basic. It just has a few little details. You can certainly have more details. You can have as many details as you need. And then you have some transition um, pair, uh, sentences. Then you move into the next main topic. The next main topic is the equipment. So then they talk about the equipment. You can see there's even a subtopic or a little mini detail here. Um, and then step three is the basic steps of fishing. And this was the source citation for these. <clears throat> you don't necessarily need a source citation um, for your uh, outline, but it's there just in case. Okay, so that is the basic step. That's what you're going to do for your outline. Now your outline is technically due today. Um, but I know that some of you are just getting started. So if you need more time, that's fine. The next thing that you're going to want to do is sign up for our speech presentation days. I sent out this uh, sign up sheet and it looks like several people have already signed up. So good job for those of you who have already signed up. I know that a few people were you know, feeling pretty productive. So I did set up some times for tomorrow um, but we also have time on Thursday and Friday. I know typically we don't have school on Friday, but I did set up some individual Zooms. Um, then, of course, you can sign up during our class Zoom on Thursday or Tuesday. 
it looks like a few people are signing up to present during our class Zoom, and that'll be awesome. And then individual ones, I will just send you a link. So please take a look at those. If you uh, are not going to sign up to do a Zoom one-on-one -on -one or to do it during our class, then that means you need to record a video of yourself and that is due by next Wednesday. So you still have a week and a day, since today is Tuesday, you have a week basically to get that speech done. Um, and that should also give you some extra time to finish up your outlines. Please, please email me also. If you wanna share your outline with me and ask me questions as you're going through it, like I'm more than happy to do that for you. That's not a problem. So I just wanted to um, kind of answer a lot of those questions because a lot of people were unsure as to what they were supposed to talk about for the speech. And this really is a very, very simple speech. It is really straightforward. You're just teaching us about something. And I also posted on the assignment, actually, let's go to expository speech, um, the details. So this is a three to six minute speech. This is an informative speech that explains an idea process or theory. Um, you're gonna choose a topic that you could teach someone about. And um, you certainly can have a visual aid if you want to show us a picture of something or an object. You don't have to have a visual aid, but you certainly are welcome to show one during your speech. A lot of people like to use PowerPoints and you can present using your outline. So you should have your outline just on your desk in front of you. I don't want you to read it. I want you to still talk to us, um, but you can have it there to use as a reference. So I hope that helps answer any questions that you might have. And I hope that these little videos are helpful for you. And uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, please email me as much as you need. And I'm happy to also schedule individual appointments with you if you need any extra help. So keep being awesome, all right? Let's see if I can figure out how to, no, I don't need that one, how to go out of my little Zoom thing here. I don't know where it is. Oh, here